Families leave flowers for their loved ones at cemeteries and mausoleums. But police say this mausoleum became the site of a vandalism spree. The mausoleum was just one location of the alleged rampage. KDKA talked to someone who says the woman left behind some wild messages. Westmoreland County Bureau Chief Ross Kadati has the story. Eric Harder tells KDKA his relationship with former girlfriend Amy Large can be summarized in one word. Hell. That's all I can come up with in words, hell. According to Harder and Manesson Police, Large is responsible for a series of harassing phone calls as well as acts of vandalism against Harder and his family. It's tearing me up, and it's because of my family. Harder and Large recently split up, and not long after, bad things started to happen, including what police say the 43-year-old woman did to Harder's father's car. She keyed it. When you say keyed it, how bad? Bad. $1,600 worth of damage. In fact, investigators say Large carved a message in the vehicle. Something about karma was a bitch. However, Manesson police say what Large allegedly did at this mausoleum at Manesson's Grandview Cemetery was much worse. Arrangements had been shredded. There was two chairs that had been damaged. The damage comes to about all oh, $2,400, $2,500. So why would Amy Large allegedly vandalize and lay waste to this mausoleum, specifically inside? Well, according to Eric Hartner, this place was the scene of multiple romantic rendezvous for the couple over their 20-year on and off relationship. This was payback for her getting dumped by him. Amy Large, who is also from Manesson, faces multiple felonies to include burglary and institutional vandalism. She is free, awaiting her preliminary arraignment. I could say I just wish people could move on. Meanwhile, Eric Harder says he lives in fear. A love gone bad is one thing, but what he and his family are enduring... It's agony. It's turning everyone apart. In Manesson, Ross Gidotti, KDKA TV News.